Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at Poison Ivy's Vortex. We're at the point now in the game where we have unblockable interactables, unseeable 50-50 Vortexes by Batman. Let's give Poison Ivy one as well because let's see some more Poison Ivy on stream. We're in a world where a Poison Ivy player can tag you with a background bounce and pretty much do the same thing Batman does and pretty much almost kill you and then pop trait. And then chip you out to death with her thing. Now bearing in mind obviously the opponent can jump away and the opponent can uh, meet a burn roll. But let's be honest here, look at Batman's health. This is apparently, and it, this is my words as well. I thought she was low tier, but nobody told me she had a grapple vortex or something similar. So I'm just going to go over in this video just quickly how to do it and, and why it's legit and stuff like that. So Batman does it by doing deep jump 2 into jump 2. And this was my fix for, for, for Batman's grapple vortex. Was essentially just nerf the hit stun on jump on jump 2. And obviously because there's not enough hit advantage, you can jump out, you can back dash out or whatever. Uh, the issue with that fix is you can do something like I can do with Ivy. You can do a frame kill. Whether people are happy about this, I'm not too sure. I'm still not fond of it because even if it requires an extreme amount of execution to do, there's also that factor of, well, it's in the game and it's possible. So as long as it's possible, then it, it probably shouldn't be in the game. That's up for debate. I'm not here to debate that. I'm just here to show you how to do it, how I do it. What's the optimal meat list that I've found? I'm sure there's more. I'm, I'm terrible with Ivy. This is day one poison Ivy. But let's just have a quick look at, at what we'd be looking at. So you do the kiss, you dash forward, you walk back to that optimal range for the cross-up, non-cross-up, and then you jump over. Now, bearing in mind, even if they do jump out, you still get a juggle. I'm not too sure what the conversion is yet. You can probably just do that. Look, you still get 210 damage. So even if you jump out, you're still hitting, you know, a 400 damage uh, at least reset. And there it is there. Can you see how it's reset on the counter? So the combo's not continued. Whatever. So this is possible to do. They can't jump out. They can probably backdash out, but you've got a two frame window to, to nail that backdash. If you do it too soon, the combo carries on. So you don't want to do it like too soon, uh, but essentially there it is. It's a 50-50 cross up, non cross up, jump one vortex with Ivy. Um, a lot of the times, the way I'm doing the moment, it will cross up more than not cross up. Uh, but I have been practicing, as you can see there, you can do it so it doesn't cross up as well. So, f f you know, anyone that goes, oh, it crosses, no, it's, it's just not true. It can go both ways. There's no way out of it. So, I, like, you'll see, you can read any past tweets that I've made, stuff like that. I'll go, I'll poison Ivy's bottom five. But nobody told me she had this. In fact, the, I've seen a video on of it. Not too sure who posted it. But they were like, you know, you'll just stand back and just guess. Uh, I, I can't tell you how... You know, that's not how you go about it. If you if you start, you're not going to guess against Sonic Fox in Grand Finals at EVO or, you know, Dragon, should I say now, because he was the EVO winner. Guessing is really bad. You want to do it in a way where it's a, 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 like a Street Fighter players do it all the time. They've got frame kills where they'll do down jab, down jab on a meter just to set up meters. This is how you need to play to get solid gameplay. So I'm showing you how to do it. Like... I'm just going to show you a little bit of a set play sequence off of hitting a back two down two in the background bounce. With like, the, the, this is a low tier character, by the way. I'm probably not going to nail it first. Well, I definitely didn't nail it first time there. I didn't even get the back three out. But this is just to show you the power of this setup. I rushed him. So if you rush it too much, you still get you get a, a, a kind of a continuation of the combo. It's not the end of the world, to be honest. <laughs> It really isn't the end of the world, but uh, ideally you wouldn't want that. Into the reset. Back into this. Dash forward. One more background bounce, because why not? Whatever. You know, you get the picture. Batman's got... He's lost 60% of his life. I can loop the vortex as long as I've got meter. That cost me one bar. Uh, two bars, actually, up to that point. And if they block it... Because this is the, you know, the kicker. Because the reason why Batman's is so good is he goes jump 2 into 2-2-3 two, two, and it's minus 2. Ivy's plus. So if you block this and you go into 1-2-1-2, one, two, one, two, this is plus. 
It's also special cancelable into the terror stance. You can get chip from this. Uh, you can do it into a throw if you please. Uh, you plus one. Uh, you can check them with your own down one, although it will trade with six frames if you know that they're, they're on point. Or you can finish the string because the string's really good. The string actually does a, a large amount of damage. Look at the meter I'm building. Builds about half a bar of your meter back. Um, or, you know, you, honestly, you can do this off of it as well uh, if you're not too good. So I'll show you, like, the very, very... This is, like, ultra beginner. Can't do the terror stance, poison ivy vortex. You just do um, back, back, back one, two, three. Yeah, that's it. So back one, two, three. Ah, come on. Into back two, down two, command grab. And the uh, command grab's coming out for me now. Thanks, game. Thanks, game. There you go. It does less damage. That does 238, whereas this one, which is my favorite one, does 287. That's per reset. So, this is on Batman. Obviously, you're going to do a little bit less on stronger characters, tougher characters, but it, it, it's still, the fact still remains that, it, like, I believe if you like near a background bounce, by the way, and you and you land the reset, you can just loop it. That's right, guys. So you can loop this around the background bounce. So if they're sort of around the edge of the background bounce, and you're able to cross them up or put them in the position to cross them up. You're gonna get a vortex around a background bounce. Just do uh, back two down uh, down two because it's got like a uh, more pushing range. And, uh, you know, this is two bars so far. Into it again. He gets wrong again. Like, th this could happen, like, in a set, in tournament. Like, you're salty. You're salty at this point. And then when you really want to, like, finish him, just do two. After the research, do that into Mr. Bitey and just, you know, chip them out. Because that's going to be really good fun. So, there's no hate here on Poison Ivy. I love the character. I love the character. But I'm just trying to push across the point... The, the, you've got Batman players out there today. There are still players out there that defend Batman. They still think he's fair. They still think a character with a plus on block, unseeable 50-50, is fair that takes zero execution or skill. It takes two minutes to do the Batman Grapple Vortex and learn it. Two minutes. And then when you add on the fact that I'm saying, oh, well, Poison Ivy's plus when you do this, it's still nowhere near what Batman can do after the Vortex. Yeah, Poison Ivy, she's still really good. She's still plus one. Batman's still got his bat cancels. He's still got, like, just if he's got bats out, he can do all sorts of stuff. It's way too much. Way too much. Now, I'm not looking at the whole tools here. Obviously, Ivy has a ranged game to her. She's got fine drills. I'm not saying, you know, Batman completely outclasses Ivy in every single area. That's not what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is that if people want this stuff in the game, they either have to be really hard to do so people can appreciate it and go, oh, he managed to land it, that's really cool. Or just not be in the game whatsoever. And that's a, that'll be a hotly debated topic. But for me personally, you know, I'm just going to be rocking Ivy for a bit. I'll be, obviously, I still play Firestorm and Cheetah, but I, I'm going to really start playing her. When you do the jump over, this string's plus one. You can even cancel into Deterra if you want. And then, you know whatever it's uh it's really really strong like really strong good good meter build on block if they do jump out you get it wrong but you tie a little bit too late you can still juggle it um, there's probably like an optimal juggle for that uh, batman players will probably find some lab so i'm sure poison ivy can do like maybe you know one two one two into like a vine drill and it connects or something i'm not too sure oh yeah if you like if you're really not too good at doing the terrorist stance cancels you can just um cancel into this It's obviously, if you're doing that, you're going to spend, like, a bar more meter than doing this. But it's possible. And as you can see here, like, this 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 person here, as long as I've got meter, I'm just going to vortex you to death. And you just got to pray that you guess right on the non-cross-up cross-up. So, yeah. Play Poison Ivy. She's good fun. She's got a vortex. Why not? Find what's really cheap.